you guys feel like in like five years from now you'll look back on living there as like a positive thing, right? Or you guys will be like, I hated it. No, it'll be like the salad days. Yeah, I would yeah. love it. Like I think this. about that when I pass by your old apartment and how you're always like, I loved it there, but I know you had like dishy ass <laughs> times, like the worst times there. Same thing with Belmont. I think I'll always have kind of a disdain for Belmont though, because like that was some of the worst moments in my life. Like I had like my like worst times darkest. mentally. Yeah, my like darkest mental moments there. Clothes on, I think nothing is broken. I've been living in the moment, not the past that you've stolen. And I didn't ask for closure on this Saturday morning. But the rain has been pouring. I got bags of explosives and I'm pouring that. I never back down, yeah, you noticed that. I'm holding back now, yeah, I've noticed that. I'm holding back now, but you're with that. I still catch us on the side. Never felt like home, I get more jaded by the day Wait, by the f phone and if I had it my own way It'd be some bridges left on fire The next door got barbed wire And next time I'm get more high I'ma be who I want I shadow in my eyes slow Need something to save my soul Baby, you well when you need hope Breathing deep when I lose control But I, but I, but I got it all back from that man And I'll Down on the
when I was on Belmont Adante's every day, the same spot Round two thrift store stories This life is not for me Sometimes I feel like I can't be Who I am around you and your friends Do the same dance, wake up at noon again I wrote a new end to the story Sort of your new friends moving in So you could be my friend tonight You go my We would never bother Blue to white color Just change in your pocket When you're making more than dollars Now it's a dog party I know, I know I'm afraid I know too much not to be around
bought your car And I shouldn't have a problem with that But you know that I'm a hot country act Ooh. You know that's just the way I would react Scared of changing anything about me But the only person that's ever had a doubt about me is you Hope you never move on to something new I feel the sweat percolating If I hadn't been for, for graffiti and hip hop, man, I, I don't know, man, I probably would have gotten all of, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to be like my brothers. And they all went to the Army, Navy, Marines. You know, and each one was good at gymnastics, baseball, and biking. And I tried all of them and I just didn't fit. Something to me, uh -huh. you can see right through me. Uh -huh. The changes that we feeling uh -huh. ain't so appealing. Ooh. Ever since I came to your place, I've been feeling down, down, down. You make me feel so competitive. All of my friends are.
tell me that same get a scan I gotta cut off friends Wildfire stop burning where my off in Be like end of the world when I look at who's in the over office He done bad this shit is fuck Rip it pee pull apart No time for people different no tells Wake up but like two in the morning Plane up deep pain in my stomach Which time is on am I on switch? Spend that comma on a brand new watch Stand to the side, watch these cops Take us back to that Jim Crow law The weather makes everything blur together For better, for worse, well, we gotta get up for work What's gonna stop me from ending up like Matt? No life jacket, plane gon' crash We all swimming, no one gon' last Drive too fast, got my holler speeding But go with the wheel, close my eyes And drive up the cliff But I can't be
Dragon beer candy in the open Dangle to the surface Brave was the moment It was hours after Sterling Off the lip of Colorado I saw your profile fusing with the clouds Lost years you shifted Found and calm and you're around I still hear you still see you in the crowds In due time I will cover what we found In due time
86 and in 88 I'd say I had to do more than a dozen pieces yeah. at least 12 to 15 pieces of my own man I, I would go throughout the 90s I think that's when it saw its its climax right there because by that time everybody was really strong well a couple months later the Mexican men that arrived there to start playing the Mayan ball game the ancient uh, game of Tarasca and when I saw that well all of a sudden I showed up to Belmont and us riders started hearing that hey these Mexican men are starting they're playing this handball game right there what? and I had to go see it for myself and I was like this is like being in the ancient temples of, of the Aztecs and the Mayan look at all the artwork the hieroglyphics and here's the men playing the ball game it's because of that because of the game showing up that Belmont's life extends a little more you know so now it's not just a the area where you can go paint, but now it's more of an open park, you know, and there's life and vitality. There's people selling corn right there, and, and the riders for the first time start being really connected to the place, looking forward to go paint there. And, and the, the things that we do, you know, to hold on to, to what's dear to us. And, you know, we didn't know what was going to happen with the Belmont. There was talks of them developing it and stuff like that, you know. And by that time, 2002, 2003, I think they were moving towards uh, bulldozing it. And, and there was even a whole movement to stop it, yeah. you know. And yet, Belmont had given so much, so much, you know. And I'm amazed it even got that far, you know. So we're talking about late 70s through the 80s. through that. That's over at least over 25 years. Of, of work, a couple extra from the 2000s, and there was this one kid that uh, stood in front of the bulldozers the day that they came to bulldoze it out. Yeah, Belmont offered a lot of possibilities, you know, and people would go to great lengths to to protect it. You gotta tell some of the stories, man. You gotta pass these things on, you know, so that uh, so that they're remembered, man. It gives validation to to what we put in, you know. It makes it all worthwhile, man, you know. I don't know about you, Roy, but like for me, again, you know, my family was like, what the hell are you doing? You know, they did support me, but they're like, they don't know what to do. Yeah. You know, so you're on your own, kid. Yeah. You know, okay. I'm on my own, and I want to go find uh, like-minded people at a place like Belmont, you know. Places like Belmont, you take it with you. Look, all this, got all these pieces here, it's, it's, it's because of Belmont, you know. The fact that people took the initiative to take these spaces, you know? That's Belmont energy, you know? This last piece I'll show you. You'll understand.
Wow, that was unreal. Insane. Unreal. I mean, that was like start to finish. <laughs> Hard to fault. So many ideas, so much creativity, so much melody, so many things going on there. Roy Blair giving us a 30 minute mix. Simply titled Graffiti, and you can hear why I start to finish with this kind of loose narrative that flows through it. And I just loved every second of it. Let's get Roy up. And let's celebrate that. Bro, that was amazing. You think so? Amazing. Woo! You weren't enough until Light Leak was like a moment. That's like yeah, it really was. We like, were all dancing, me and my friends. That was a moment, man. There's so much amazing music on there. It begs the question, dude. I mean, Chasing Moving Trains, this album, if that stuff is like unreleased, I mean, surely there must be songs clawing to get on the record because there's some real magic on that mix. Yeah, I mean, when I make an album, I'm just making like, like, like maybe like whatever, how many songs are on that album, like let's say like 14. I'm just, it's like each one I'm trying to like capture a feeling. You know, and I'm not gonna like stop until like I capture that feeling, and then also it's a really good song. So like it just takes time sometimes to like collect the right songs, you know, and then build those out. So like yeah, these are all just like I might have already said what's said on these songs like better on the album. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, so, dude, yeah. I mean honestly, that, that was as a bo as bodies of work go. Um, that mix was really really special. One of my favorites of the year actually. And for you to be able to share that with us, we really appreciate it. Um, and how Thank was you it? so much for the opportunity, man. Of course. Yeah. Man, of course and being able to listen to that music just could have come to life and exist only in this moment i mean as far as i'm aware there's no plans for you to put those songs out as of right now so why do it this way um there's only three songs that are coming from this mm -hmm. and they're dropping friday mm -hmm. um everywhere but um all the other music i'm just not really seeing anywhere else like it's just gonna exist here and um i've just been really influenced by mixes recently i've been getting into these like rabbit holes on youtube of just like these like electronic mixes from like the 90s and just like recently even yeah. and it's just like it's just a rabbit hole of music and it's all like super inspired music and it's really beautiful and um i feel like i just wanted to like pay homage to that um with this collection you did an music. amazing job man and, and of course like the, the, the conversation the narrative that flows through it as well you said you know maybe we'll speak afterwards so you can talk a little bit more about the theme of the of the yeah. but, but why graffiti and why why did that kind of become a part of it all right so w last year um when when I, I moved from Hollywood where I was making Cat Heaven to um I moved in with my girlfriend and her friends um to this to this apartment building called um Belmont mm -hmm. Station. Mm -hmm. And um when I was there, um I got in like a lift one day and this guy was like, Yo, do you know that used to be like this huge like graffiti hub in like the eighties and nineties? Just this like huge place. Like everyone like spray painted. It was like really amazing. And I was like, no way, that's like amazing i don't know i'm just like a sucker for history you know yeah. so when they told me that and there was like this huge like um story behind the place we were living it was just like super inspiring so um i felt like basically the the mix is basically um the kind of like comparison of like where i've been where I, where i was when i was living there mixed with where um this graffiti artist was when he was spray painting there um at the height of it being like a graffiti spot it was crazy at the end the way that he was like referring to you by name i realized that you weren't just walking down the streets capturing random collages or random moments from people like you were you were having a real personal moment with somebody that you'd gone to know and they trusted you yeah yeah he, he's a really amazing guy his name is nuke mm -hmm. that's what he writes mm -hmm. he's really sick um we just like talked for like two hours walked around he showed me all of his pieces in little <laughs> tokyo in the arts district and uh we just talked about like graffiti for like two hours and it was really beautiful it just like tied everything together in like a really amazing way was it audio only or did you, did you film it as well yeah it was just it was just audio only i just brought my field recorder what's the thing like about audio right now man which i mean obviously being in radio and being a music fan and watching the way that video continues to create to to influence and 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 lead to a degree that kind of experience but i just feel like man right now my vibe is just like keep it audio let my mind do the work a hundred percent i don't know maybe because i believe i believe in audio you yeah. know what I mean? Like I'm a musician, you know. So, like I feel like I feel like um, that's 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 my platform, I guess. So I just I'm trying like my hardest to like do as that as well as I can. And then yeah, I, I didn't even shoot a music video for for these songs. I just I didn't know what to do honestly. Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to direct it, but I just didn't have an idea. So I was just like, yo, let's 
let's just like roll out this content don't it all feels it. really good yeah yeah, yeah don't force sure. it don't force it graffiti yeah. is the name of the mix three brand new songs from it which are coming at the end of this week everywhere and um and man that's straight on my playlist and no doubt loads of people listening are going to feel the same way roy blair we appreciate you rolling with us here at beats one apple music and we're looking forward to the next time we can do something super cool bro you're the best man you thank too, you man. Good, congratulations good luck finishing your record and we're going to get straight into a king push push the t cash dose sociopath yeah my chick hot like